What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Truck Talk brought to you by me, inspired by my man, Chili. I wanted to do a quick truck talk for you guys today on the new rules that are being enforced to uh, close the background check loopholes that supposedly exist. Uh, yeah, these, these new rules are being put forth by the Biden administration or your uh, tyrannical government in general. Uh, they're all in league together, by the way, and uh, this this bureaucracy, the ATF is just their freaking strong arm, is all it is. By the way, if you're an ATF agent, uh, you should find something else to do for a living. Yep, you are contributing to the problem if you are an American citizen and you work for one of these freaking bureaucracies, strong arms of our government. That goes for you, ATF agent, you, you FBI agent, uh, you, you freaking IRS agent, all you freaking turds. You are un-American if you work for one of these bureaucracies. Anyways, this rule is, uh, is meant to close the <clears throat> background check loophole. Essentially, what this is, this means is you will no longer be able to privately sell your firearms or trade your firearms. Um, unless it's a internal transfer between family members uh, or you are selling your entire gun collection uh, without the intent to buy more guns. Essentially, it's going to make anyone who wants to sell, privately sell a firearm, you're going to have to apply for your license to be a firearms dealer, uh, which is a freaking racket in the first place. <clears throat> you know... We have, we have, so we have a, how, how this applies, we have a little website here in Georgia called the, the Georgia Outdoor Trader, where gun enthusiasts can, um, can buy, sell, and trade privately their, their firearms. And it's fun. People collect guns. People have collected guns for a long, long time. Uh, people enjoy sh sh uh, swapping and trading and all that good stuff, right? And, um, yeah, that's all going to get shut down. So here, here's the freaking stupidity behind this, man. You know, the government wants to create all these laws, rules, and regulations revolving around the purchase and possession of firearms. Here's the freaking stupidity of this. Do you not understand that the people who commit crimes violent crimes don't obey your laws, rules, and regulations? Do, do you not understand that? Do you not realize that the only people who are going to go along with your, with your new regulations and with your current laws, rules, and regulations, the only people who, who actually go along with them are the people who are law-abiding citizens who aren't going to go and commit violent crimes in the first place. Do you understand the stupidity of that argument that we are imposing these rules to keep guns away from criminals? Criminals don't obey freaking rules, man. And you know what? They know that. They know that. You understand that the reason for all of these laws, rules, and regulations revolving around gun control have nothing to do with keeping guns out of the hands of criminals. They know that. What they have to do with is increasing their level of control. You guys know the old analogy about boiling a frog. How if you turn the heat up too quick, the frog's going to jump out of the, of the water. But if you just slowly, over time, just tighten the noose, just warm the water up, eventually you get your way. You guys know that. And that's what this is all about. You know the answer to uh, solving violent crime? The only solution and the only answer is to have more good people armed and trained in towns, in workplaces, in schools, in stores, in their homes. That's the answer. That's the answer. 
to solving violent crime. When you have people that are wired in a way that they are considering going and doing harm to another person or infringing upon another person's life, liberty, or pursuit of happiness, when that person realize that, realizes that the likely consequence of their decision to break a law is going to be their own freaking death, well, they think twice about it, man. They think twice about it. It doesn't take a freaking genius to understand this. And don't think that your tyrannical government doesn't freaking know this. This new regulation is all about control. It's all about adding another rule to the books so that they can tighten the noose and so they that they can have another way to criminalize law-abiding law citizens. You need to freaking wake up, man, and understand what's going on. And you know what we should do? We should completely disregard this new rule. We, we should completely disregard it. Just like y'all remember when they came out with the rule about the, the, the pistol brace on SBRs? Did any of y'all freaking go along with that? No. And so guess what they did? They were like, well, they're not listening to us, so we're just going to brush that under the rug and act like we never said that. They don't have enough people to enforce these rules, these laws, these regulations. They don't have enough people. The only reason any of them work is because we go along with them. Freaking screw these people, man. If you got anything out of this episode, go get you a hat, get you a t-shirt, keep my man Chili in the dungeon. I appreciate you guys' support, your ongoing support. You guys are the lifeblood of this channel. As long as you guys keep showing up, we'll keep these truck talks coming, and we'll keep speaking truth to the best of our ability. Love you guys. Enough said.